a number of our workers are sick or have been exposed to COVID and so they're out today. So we're starting the line early, hopefully to get things going while we can, which is why it looks short. The line is still building. It's just now 10 after eight. We normally don't start until around 8.30. So um, as much work as we can get done beforehand. I got here and Pastor Ken, our simple free food sign, had already unloaded all the buildings by himself. <laughs> He'd been at it with the pallet jacks and I was laughing to myself thinking, okay, yesterday afternoon I helped Pastor Ken unload the truck because a couple of our main studs were gone and all night long I felt like I'd pulled muscles in front of me and in back of me. I am not currently equipped to be hauling around tons of food. These guys are absolute studs who do it on a daily basis. I'll tell you what, I don't think that it has improved my conditioning at all, the work that I've done with them. Anyway, the line, my whining done for the day. The line is here, the line is moving, it's going. So many of those buildings have got food of some sort in them that Ken and Josh and Marty have been looking at plans for a steel building for a warehouse to go right up here on the front of the park. Ken's got a list of my friends that he wants me to call to ask for help on putting it in and now we're trying to decide whether to put any steel buildings in on where the volleyball pit is, which I love this volleyball pit. This was a lot of work, a lot of money to put in, or over on the other side, which is where Ken thinks it might be more successful. I think it'd just be best to put it right here, but I guess it would block up the drive through for all the cars that come through. And so that probably wouldn't be the best idea. These plastic Gaylords up top there, in other nations, they used them filled with water. Here, we use them and we get donations in them from Sam's Club, from Walmart, from all kinds of big corporations that just, what, they might have one item broken in it and they just load them in there and then we go get it and fill it up and sort it and give that away. It's part of America's Food Rescue Program and we're proud to be a part of that. It's a pain in the neck. If, <laughs> I mean, only because of the work that goes into the sorting of it. Anytime you would like to be a part of what's happening with that, it would be fantastic. We don't have as much fresh fruit or as much produce out today. Oh, it started, thank goodness. But we do have dog food today. Here's Ira, I think one of the first volunteers to show up today. Look at, we've got this water, whatever kind of water, there's some kind of health water or something, all the food that the food packing team packed yesterday and all this stuff all set up, ready to go. This is called a Costco pallet. It comes with all kinds of cool stuff from Costco. There's spinach, oranges, blueberries. Everybody gets something from that. There's bananas. This is the second part of the line. So we have four stations that are working with Pastor Ken, the stud. There's the best water in the world from Canada. And here's more dog stuff. There are dog snacks, dog chews, dog food. You name it, we've got it. We even have dog vitamins today. So we've got all this kind of stuff, so that's good. The walk-up line, Mara showed up in her pajamas. Way to go. Good morning. We like to have everyone here helping. We give away stuff that I have no idea what it is. Terra, real vegetable chips. I see stuff here that I've never seen in my life. We have got some food that came in yesterday. Kumquat marmalade. It looks delicious from France, a product of France. I thought last night when I saw something, man, that's what I want to have for breakfast. 
Then I zipped out and never had any breakfast this morning. I thought, that'd be great. Maybe we'll have a peanut butter and kumquat marmalade sandwich for lunch. Doesn't that sound good, Ron? No. Not to you, huh? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. We've got some pomelos over there. I was impressed that I remembered the name of those things. There's Roy. Roy's got a dentist appointment today. How you doing, Roy? Roy is Ron's dad. So it's nice of him to be here hanging out, helping out. Anyway, God's good. We have the opportunity to serve together. You were always invited. Our big refrigerator is empty today. It gets filled up and it gets emptied out. And so it's empty right now. A truck and a trailer. I rode around in that truck while we made food pickups yesterday. I parked that van and trailer Sunday night when we came in for Jack's for Jesus. God is good. Life is good. I was thinking maybe we should put the warehouse right here on the corner if we built a steel building, but then it occurred to me that we've always thought someday Starbucks will come in or something and buy this corner from us. So um, if you want to build a Starbucks or McDonald's or something like that on this corner, come here. We've got a lease that you cannot refuse. Um, what we do is store food. The reason we need a warehouse is because, well, for one thing, our truck on our trailer and our van keep on getting vandalized we need something to put them in but then food like this this is just food that's stored and we're hoping the pandemic will come to an end and the youth will be able to use the chapel again and Sunday school kids will be able to use class because our Sunday school classrooms are full of food and we've got food like this that's just stored here that um, people can't come into and we've converted all these buildings into warehouses so not what they're intended for and we'd like to start getting ready to get them back to their intended purpose but it seems like no matter what we do there's going to be more people in line for food so god bless you thank you so much for your part in this anytime you want to support our growing food ministry you're invited to come and work with it you're invited to uh, take over we're wanting to have someone take over the totes those are those white things i showed you on top of the container and we've got a room we'd like to convert for that just for picking them up driving the truck out picking them up sorting them josh is great at telling you when they need to be picked up what needs to be sorted stuff like that we'd like to have more people on the team line on wednesday mornings someone here early to help pastor ken I've been leaning on a friend of mine to come out every Wednesday morning, and he hasn't showed up yet. Um, the team we've got's amazing. It just it never hurts while people get sick to have someone else pitch in. And any of you would like to financially support it as we approach 750,000 pounds distributed. I mean, it's three quarters of a million pounds of food. You think about what that's meant to these households. And we had dog food and cat food and cat litter and all that donated this week that's going out to houses. That's just going to be money that they don't have to spend so that their households can be better. And so, God bless you. Thank you so much for your part in it. One of the really cool things about it, some of the donations that come in are restricted to only be used here in Riverside County. Some of our donations that come in from food and some of the stuff that we purchase as well, we can use unrestricted. So that means it can go to Siempre para los niños, or orphanage. It can go to Los Angeles with Jackets for Jesus. It just depends on which organization we're working with. So um, we try our very best to track all of that and move with that. So It's a handful, all of it. Um, God bless you. Thank you so much for your part in however it is. If you're ready to write a check for $10, or if you're ready to write a check for $10 million, if you're ready to say hey i'll build that warehouse let me know if you'd like to make a donation online you can go to the number one the number four the letter j the letter c 14jc.com and you can donate there um where it says check number right there where it says check number you can just write in what it's for and the donation will go exactly what you'd like for it. just put food bank or warehouse or something like that or contact me God bless you. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Think I'm going to Mexico. Not sure, but I think. I don't think I can get into San Pre, but think I'm going to go down and take down payroll.